Hi, I'm Vahid Razavi with BizCloud. It's not every day that I get a chance to interview the guy who taught me how to sell. Mike Williams at Exodus Communications was my hiring manager and direct boss. And today I get a chance to talk to him about all the pain that I caused him 20 years ago. So I basically decided to have a very open interview format on this one. We're going to ask Mike... What was it about the culture or the people that he brought on that even hired a guy like me and took a risk on a guy like Vahid and instilled that? And that's one thing that I want to know, Mike, is you had a talent for pulling in really good people. How did you do it? What was the trick? What is it you look for in people? What was it the thing, the chemistry that worked about it? Right. Well, you know, I mean, essentially... People had fun of that day, right? I mean, it was all new, right? The internet was new. It was all this green field area. And basically, I looked at people who had some things that they wanted to solve, right? Some issues, some pains, some things that they, they weren't given as, as a youngster, right? So, and they were basically a lot of fun. Like, I don't want to hang around people that are just not fun and they're, they're not excited. Salespeople who don't want what? earning money, exactly. earning money. One guy, Joe Coglatory, for example, in an interview said to me, what's the, what's the most money that anybody made here at the company last year? And I said, well, hey, Vlad made a million dollars. And he goes, I'll make a million five. That's the kind of people I hired, right? They were just, they're into the, they're into the money, they're into mortgaging their houses, they're into lots of kids, lots of houses, lots of cars. And they all care about they all care about winning. Absolutely, it's all about winning. Right. Just like you, Vahid. Well, you're a winner. How so, Mike? Well, you've done well. Look at look, you're doing well with Biz Cloud, right? Oh, absolutely in that regard. Right. right. But you know, at my interviews at the time, I was a little green back. If you remember, I was uh, 20 years old when I worked for you, and I had I to color my that. goat. I don't think we knew you that you were 20, right? You looked a lot older than 20, I think. Oh I, oh, I really was able to pull that one off. Well, in the, now that we're getting into stories about me, was there any highlights of things that you wanted to reprimand me I for? Can say it, right? I can say Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So, the classic one, right? And you remember this well because what we did was we were all about every month, every quarter, you know, sell a deal at any cost, right? And we, we were pretty good about, about the financial terms and all that. Well, so towards the end of one of the, I think a quarter, maybe it was a month, I'm not sure, I get a deal on my table, uh, on my desk, and it was a closed deal from Vahid, and I forget the name of the company, but everything was cool, except at the bottom of the paper, it said, uh, I, I guarantee a keg of beer for every month that you're, I guess, under contract. That's is how I remember it. So. At that time, you sold the deal and you, you expected us to go and buy a keg for that company, for their company, every month that they were on Exodus. Wow. That was classic. Well, that's now, customer Dick, service. Dick Stoltz, I don't think, ever saw that deal because I cut out that little part. On the... So, Vahid, that's one of your claims to fame. Now, the other one is the Reader's I'm not going to go into Reader's Digest one. That was a little... Uh, well, we're going to have to save something for the next interview. We can't get it all out in the first 20 years. There's got to be a second 20 years. So what are you doing now, Mike? What is exciting? What's taking you forward now? So what I'm doing is I'm working with startups. So uh, what I do is I, I get the sales organization started in startups. So I'm working with about three or four different companies now, and we're working on getting their organiza the sales organizations going. So at a startup company, you've got to get that first core DNA of salespeople and sales team, right? And it's hard, right? Sometimes they don't know what to do. They don't have processes. They don't know how to hire and all that. They just got funded and all that. So what I do is I come in and I start to build that for them, get it to a critical mass, and then I move on to the next company. So I do this for, uh, for three companies right now in the Valley. I love startups. That's great. Well, you always had an itch for it. You know, coming from the big WorldCom telco days and getting into the startup modes and then seeing startups 
come to fruition and grow and become public companies. That's been your success and your track record, Mike. And that should be, I'm so proud that I had the chance to learn the basics and the know-how from you when we went through those couple of years. Do you think you learn from Exodus? Do you mean? Absolutely. Yeah. I think when everybody, when I talk to people here, right, and throughout, you know, on, on LinkedIn or Facebook, they all of them say there was a magic at Exodus. There was some magic that we had at Exodus. And, you know, I don't know how we did it. I mean, we didn't say we're going to build magic at Exodus. It was just a, a bunch of really good people coming together. That, and, and, and good people want to hang around with other good people. And then so on and so on. And then all of a sudden this magic occurs. And the people I talked to today say, wow, I'm looking to actually recreate the magic that I had at Exodus. And they can't find it. And they've been working 20, uh, 15 years in different companies, five different companies, and they can't find that magic. And, they, and they're trying to find it. And I'm like, well, you know, at some point, you got to create the magic. So at some point we're, with Exodus, we got to go and create magic somewhere else. And there's a lot of people here that have got great companies that are doing that. So that's why we went to bring everybody back. This is the 20th year since the founding of Exodus. And there's some really cool people in this room that have founded companies and created that Exodus magic in different companies, including yourself. That's awesome, Mike. You know, one thing I got to say is if there is a tech company out there that's looking to grow its sales organization, that wants to create a successful DNA around sales and sales process, mentorship, coaching, spin selling, there is nobody better qualified, nobody better to run that organization than Mike Williams. Because I had the pleasure of running with you and I had the pleasure of working with you. And... If you do business with him, I will still deliver a keg of beer <laughs> as long as the contract is signed. But you have to coat this video. There you go. Exactly. You go. I'll drink from the beer. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thanks All right. Again. And, and congratulations on the success. Thank you, sir.